This is the Eclipse 9400 permanent two inch automatic flushing device that is self draining and non freezing and provides excellent above grade adjustable flushing velocities up to 150 gallons per minute. It features a diffusion plate and a UV resistant lockable enclosure. The 9 volt battery operated controller allows users to program multiple daytime durations. The two inch solenoid operated diaphragm valve opens and closes slowly to avoid water hammer. It comes with a 2 inch FIP inlet and features a built in sampling point bib. A custom decor basket for tablets is also available. The handheld controller for the Eclipse 9400 can be programmed for up to 12 flushing cycles per day with a maximum of 6 hours per cycle. Or a manual flush can be performed as we will demonstrate here. As you can see, water flushes inside the enclosure and discharges through the evacuation holes in the bottom of the enclosure onto a diffusion plate and into the ground. Flow can be adjusted above ground using the locking water flow restrictor screw. As you can see, the solenoid operated diaphragm valve automatically opens and closes slowly to avoid water hammer issues. Occasionally debris will get caught in the diaphragm inside the valve. When this happens, the unit will not close completely and may trickle water. To do maintenance on the Eclipse 9400, first shut off the water to isolate the unit. Unscrew the top plate bolts and clamps. Lift the entire valve assembly out of the ground and inspect to see if the seat and O-rings need replacing. To do maintenance on the valve, first unscrew the solenoid from the valve. Next, unscrew the bolts on the valve face. Open the valve carefully and remove any debris around the outer ring. Then remove the diaphragm and clean away any debris around the edge. Be sure also to clean any debris around the diaphragm seat inside the valve. Finally, using a common paper clip, clean out the hole in the solenoid opening. Once clean, reassemble the unit, making sure to line up the diaphragm tab with the seat. Cupferly recommends that you flush the line thoroughly before reassembling the unit in order to remove any additional debris. Reassemble the valve and replace the flushing assembly into the enclosure, making sure it is secure. Now you can turn the water back onto the unit.